Welcome back to Hearts of Stone. Let's decide what we're going to do. In this episode, we could look at our quests here, and we'll see that we have a couple secondary quests. We've got one called Without a Trace, and we've got one called Rose on a Red Field. If we highlight this one, and we look at it on the world map, we'll see that it is where? Where is this one? This one is way down here, south of the Temerian Partisan Hideout. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's like a cave here or something um, so that's where that quest is and then we have this other one called uh, Rose on a Red Field and if we look at that one on the world map we will see that that one takes place up here in Bowdoin okay so this Bowdoin one is the one that this woman asked us to look into here at um, Oh, what the heck was his name? The the main guy here. Uh, Ogerd. Yeah. Uh, this one's level 32, so let's do this one first just because it's one level lower than this one. So this one is called Without a Trace. And it says here, Witcher has become a synonym for monster slayer in many minds. While accurate as far as it goes... This does not encompass the whole truth, for witchers take on a broad variety of other tasks besides the slaying of monsters. For example, they sometimes use their superhuman senses to find missing persons. Such a lost individual was the subject of the no notice hung by a certain Otto Bamber, an herbalist residing near Oxenfurt. So, like I said, we look at our map here, and it is... Uh way down here and it really does look like this partisan hideout uh, or this gate here is the closest place maybe we go to this gate this might make a little bit more sense because at least there's a road that runs up here whereas up here we might actually have to go around so let us close this and uh, we will go to this fast travel point here here it is fast travel and we will travel to this Novigrad gate right here and then we'll just cruise on up to the location of this quest so it's not too far away we're just gonna run on up there prefer to run places I don't know I find it a little tedious to call Roach sometimes sometimes Roach doesn't want to he doesn't want to cooperate with us sometimes. Sometimes he'll show up on the other side of a fence or something. Alright, I'm going to kind of cruise through here. It's like a beautiful day for a stroll, for a jog. New marker, Herbalist's Hut. Let's look at that on our map. Herbalist's Hut. Home to a halfling herbalist who is a passionate devotee of innovative gardening methods and experimental herbal medicine. Okay. Great. Let's go up and talk to him. Nice little place he's got here. Do a little quick Witcher senses here. What is he building here? What the heck is he trying to build? Not sure what's going on there. Well, we might find out. Kind of hope we will, because I can't imagine what he's trying to do there. Well, I think we're supposed to go indoors here, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll talk to this guy. Hey, buddy, what's up? Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? <laughs> that it? No other weeds or brews? Aye. One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you. Well, <laughs> let's play cards. Uh, do you know any master formula? Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. 
there, in the sacred grove, the learned master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Pretty sure that we already talked to him in my Wild Hunt playthrough. Let's take a quick look at what he's got. Let me have a look. Yep, he's got all the same old stuff here. Um, I don't know if he has any wax. Doesn't look like he does. Wax would be nice to have. I was running out of that when I was trying to uh, craft my um, armors. But it doesn't look like he has any wax. He might be interested in buying stuff from us, considering we only have four coins, but I, I wouldn't know what to sell him. We got all this food and drink here. Looks like he would buy this stuff from us. So I'm not interested in keeping any of this beer. So I'm going to just sell him some beer until he runs out of money. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I could just get rid of this stuff. The hard liquor I know I need to keep. But this stuff here... I don't think I need it. So we're gonna just make a bit of money and kind of free up some uh, weight that we're running around with, if you don't mind. Why is this not going away? What am I? Oh. <sighs> Apparently I was selling stuff up here and didn't realize it. Good grief. I thought that whatever I had my cursor on is what was being sold, but apparently not. So I probably just sold some stuff that I didn't want to sell. Oh, well. Sorry about that. So I guess I actually have to click on it. I could have swore it was working the other way. Ah, well, whatever. Let me just sell off some of this stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I probably sold some important things, but how important could it be? It's only food and drink, right? This stuff's laying around all over the place. Oh, he's almost out of coin. So, we'll be done here in just a moment. And it's really not, I mean, no, this stuff has no weight. It weighs nothing, so this is not freeing up. What did I just sell? Okay. Oh, he couldn't buy them all from me, I guess. I don't know. He's totally out of coin now. Uh, but yeah, this stuff has no weight, so there's really no reason not to hang on to it, really. Other than you can trade it for a little bit of coin, which we just did. All right, let's uh, talk to him about the notice. Hear about the contract. Whew, a taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any what. <sighs> It's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the Dead White Wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fiber, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. Hmm. Well, fine. Let's go look for him. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. I liked that guy's voice acting. I, I enjoyed listening to his voice. All right, so we got ourselves uh, an updated quest here without a trace. Let's take a look at it now. Um, so we spoke to this Otto Bamber guy. Otto told Geralt his apprentice, Folkert, had not returned from an herb-gathering excursion to the Dead White Wood. We were just in the Dead White Wood in the last episode. Though this was not at all on Geralt's, Geralt's way, he decided to help the desperate herbalist. Something tells me this was not merely on account of the reward on offer. Though those knowing only Geralt's surface from ballads and rumors might find this hard to believe. Deep down, he was really a softy. 
Yeah, I kind of play Geralt as a softie. Look for Falkert's tracks in the Dead White Wood using your Witcher senses. Dead White Wood, like I said, we were just there in the last episode. It's right up where we just were. No, actually, no, it's down here. For some reason, I was thinking Dead White Wood was up here. But it's here. Um, unfortunately, there is not a fast travel point nearby. We could go to this fast travel point and travel here and then run up from there. Or we could just start here and run up. Or we could start here and run here, take care of this, and take care of a couple of question marks before we go up there. We could do that. Let's do that. Let's talk to him again real quick. Hey there. No. Uh, I don't think I'm going to play cards. I don't think I am. So long. Let me know what you guys think if you want to watch me play cards or not. It's been so long since I played, I'm not even sure I remember how. Uh, and even if I did remember how, I'd probably suck at it, but... I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is run up here to uh, this question mark. Look at this, he's dug around this tree as well. What's this guy doing? Why is he digging around these trees? Man, I hope we really find out what he's doing because I haven't a clue. Oh, it's really pretty here. This is beautiful. Gosh. Just beautiful. Now, nothing against Fallout 4. I, I enjoyed Fallout 4. I loved Fallout 4, but, um, boy, it sure didn't look like this, did it? And, and I know, Fallout 4 is set in, you know, post-atomic, you know, apocalypse. Uh, but still, it, it did not look like this. This is beautiful. So we're going to run up here to this undiscovered location. See what the heck is going on. Maybe um, take out some more fallen knights. Maybe kill some more neckers. Another monster nest. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to find up here. But uh, this is just all in a day's work for Geralt. Let me go ahead and drink a little goat's milk here. Get my health up to max. Getting close. Uh, whoa. Wow, that's a lot of baddies. What is it? Oh, I hate it when the camera does this. I'm trying to look up the hill, but it insists upon making me look in this direction. Well, we've got ourselves some more, um, freaking... Oh, whoops. Uh, fallen Knights here. What the heck? I guess they're excited. Bandit camp. Yep, more Fallen Knights, you SOB. Let's go take this guy out. Oh, don't run away from me. Uh-uh. What do you think you're doing? Shoot me with bolts, you jerk. Hey, his buddy came to protect him. What do you got? What are you gonna do? Okay, shut him up. No more shooting bolts from this jerk. Oh man, that was quite a quite a swing he took at us right there. Woo! What is that, a halberd he's got? Thank goodness for uh, Quinn, huh? Damn, says Geralt. Oh, man. Ooh, see? Now, why can't I do that more often? Wow, that was 7,498 points of damage we did to that guy. Get that Quinn up, man. Haha, <laughs> you missed me. Oh, you got me that time, though. I'll give you that. Oh, Geralt, take a swing, man. Okay, shut him up. Arm goes flying. Which witness you what? Dying? Flailing wildly? Uh, there's no brothers left to sing, dude. It's just you. So, so many fallen knights in this DLC. Jeez. So, these are uh, knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose. And I didn't mention anything about it before, because I guess I... Uh, these guys are from the first game, The Order of the Flaming Rose. If you don't know The Order of the Flaming Rose, uh, watch or play The Witcher 1. And I happen to have a playthrough of The Witcher 1 on my channel. So check it out. Well, we're over encumbered, which is uh, kind of sucky because um, I'm nowhere near a merchant. But first things first, we need to uh, 
repair our weapon. So we did that real quick. Our weapon is up to 84% now. Speaking of weapons, I switched to this feline steel sword master crafted and the silver sword because I thought that would be the thing to do. Uh, I think I, this is the weapon I was using before, this griffin silver sword. If we compare these, um, so the griffin silver sword on the left gives us more sign intensity, whereas the feline silver sword just gives a little bit more ard. Um, they both do 409 to 499 damage. So we should be fine using the feline silver sword, although we do need to put some more rune stones in there. I wish I had some greater, maybe greater Chernobog rune stones that give us more attack power. I have to keep an eye out and see if we could find some of those somewhere. So let's go ahead and uh, loot these losers, even though I'm over encumbered. Reconnaissance Commander's Notes. Let's read that. Pitched camp in the ruins of the observation towers as M ordered. Hope we won't have to sit here long. Margin note. Important. Bren lost 200 crowns to me at Gwent, but has no coin on him. Need to take out of his next share of the loot. Boring as fuck. Been sitting here eight days now, and knots happened. Besides that one grain caravan, which we raided, sending the merchants off running in only their unspeakables. Hope to high heavens they'll transfer us somewhere more interesting quick, because here, every man jack of us is near about off his nut with boredom. That is some colorful language. What am I going to do with all this um, freaking stuff I'm carrying around on me? You know? I'm over encumbered, but I don't really want to get rid of it. Because I want to sell it off. Look at this. Armor, gauntlets, dust, sap, runestone, goat hide, dust... Picking all this stuff up. So, the problem with being over encumbered, as you already well know, is that you can't run. There's no running when you're over encumbered. So, that is a problem. Running is very important. So, huh, we just picked up some hardened leather. That's pretty cool. Um, What do I do then? I mean, I guess I'm going to have to drop some things because here I have set off big dumb dummy without thinking about selling off stuff to a merchant first and uh, ah crap you know what let's run up here to Est Tair we'll fast travel to a merchant somewhere over here maybe and I'll sell off a bunch of crap as a matter of fact I'm going to do that off camera because uh, you don't really need to watch me sell off stuff so I'm going to go do that and then I'll just resume right here Alright, so I just spent a little bit of time uh, going back to Novigrad, and I sold off a lot of armor and weapons, and doing pretty good in uh, coinage all of a sudden, and I uh, got my uh, weight, my encumbrance down to uh, a manageable number. And uh, I also sold off a bunch of runestones, I sold off a bunch of lesser runestones that I just didn't think I would ever use, uh, so I made a lot of coin that way too. So, not bad. Not bad. Geralt, uh, looks like witching. Witchin is a good way to make some uh, quick cash, right? Kind of looks that way to me. Witchin? Witcherin? I don't know. So, uh, like I said, uh, I have come right back here to where I was before I went to Novigrad, so you didn't miss anything. We're going to run... Um, I don't think I want to backtrack. Well, I was going to say I don't think I want to backtrack all the way here, but if I don't go here now, I don't know when I'll ever go there, but there are some more down here. I guess I need to draw a line somewhere, so let's draw the line here. Let's run over here to this place. And uh, we'll see what this is. We'll clear this one up and maybe these two and then run up here. And these maybe we'll get some other time. I think it sounds all right. All right. Um, did I... Yeah. All right. So we're not too far away from it. So we're just going to kind of run over there. This is nice. I I, uh, I wish the weather was always this nice in the game. It just, just makes the place so beautiful and, uh, you know, easier to see. I just find it much more enjoyable when it's like this instead of when it's like all rainy and foggy and stuff. This looks great. I really like it. Beautiful game. So, I wouldn't mind finding something a little bit different. We've got ourselves an abandoned site here. Ooh, there's an arachnomorph. That's not really what I had in mind when I said fight something different. Um, Samum does a pretty good job of blinding these guys. 
these uh, spiders, and otherwise they're a real pain in the butt to kill. This place is called Heddle. So there's, oh my god, would you look at that? Uh, I tried to... There we go, should be able to run up on him now. Take a few hits on him. Oh man. Woohoo, took him out quick. Let's, ah, just getting ready to quen it up. Quen. Blinding. So I kind of like this strategy here, because otherwise these guys are a real pain in the ass. They are a huge pain in the ass. Uh, unfortunately I am now out. Oh no, I have one more Samum. Okay, that'll blind him. That way he'll stand still and let us wail on him a little bit. Wow, suddenly I'm toxic. I accidentally took my echidna to the auction. I did not mean to do that. I was trying to take eat some strawberries. <laughs> but instead I pressed the wrong button and I took the echidna to the That's okay. We'll survive. All right, let's loot these losers. I think there's at least one, no, it looks like there's two more of them left. Uh, now that I don't have Samum, I'm not real sure how I'm gonna take these guys on. Um, so let us go to our potions and our bombs, and we could maybe, uh, they're not transforming, so I don't need that. This is also magic. Dragon's Dream, a cloud of gas that explodes when ignited. Northern Wind freezes foes. Let's try to freeze them and see what happens. So let me go down here and select it. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Get some mutagens. He's frozen. Okay, that works pretty well. Freeze him. <laughs> I like my strategy. And then they can't get away from you. Hey, the zombies have returned. You're welcome, zombies. Man, I tell you, ungrateful. <laughs> this big old giant spider carcass over there. I think Geralt feels pretty good about himself clearing out these abandoned locations. Well, we got some crowns, so they did pay us, so I guess they are a little grateful. So now we're going to go up here and see if there's anything to loot. <laughs> um, see if there's some stuff sitting outside. I've well, not really seen anything. What are you crying about, peasants? I can't talk to her. Alright, I just want to see if there's stuff laying around outside that I can pick up. Oh, there's uh, another carcass over here I, I must have missed. Oh, there's a couple of them. Monster hair and venom extract, and over here, what's there be blue mutagen? Hey, it's a nice, nice sized village here. Pretty cool. Alright, let's bring up our map again. And uh, we are going to, oh, there's an herbalist here. Interesting. Um... We are going to run up here now. Clear this place out. I think it's kind of fun clearing out these locations. Gives you an excuse to visit different parts of the map. Big beautiful tree here. Oh, here we go. There is a lot of something here. What is it? Hidden treasure. Uh, what are these, ghouls? I think we got some ghouls, maybe, yeah. Some dumb old ghouls. Let's coin it up. Boy, he hit me. And then there's an abandoned site here. Coin it up, Geralt. Oh man, these guys take a beating. Oh hell. Boy, these guys. Gotta hit him hard, man. Hey. Oh. Think, am I poisoned? No, he's gaining health somehow. Hey. Oh, I'm not even hitting him. Hey, stop swiping at me. Put that. Come here. Come here. Hold still. Man, it's slippery, dude. Jeez. Loot. Get some stuff from him. Where's your guts? Get his guts. Loot his guts. 
There's hidden treasure here. Guarded treasure. I don't think this is it. Wire. There's a weapon here. What is it? A ballista? Is that what that's called? I could be wrong. Holy cow. There's a pile of stuff here to loot. Pure silver? So where is the... Tr oh, this is it right here, right? This is the treasure? Trousers, runestone, timber. Nope, that isn't it still. Ah, it's over here on this body. I'm not done looting, though. Coal. An empty bottle. I'm taking everything, man. I'm gonna sell everything. Geralt needs money. Geralt needs cash. Needs a new pair of shoes. Huh. Newt. Kritzman's journal. Completely ordinary key and some crowns. Careful how you pronounce that guy's first name. Kulik Kulikov and his men are busy preparing the hunt, so I've a few moments to write up this whole incredible affair. Week back, I arrived home in Oxenfurt after a long journey and found I'd received a letter from my barrister. My Aunt Helena had finally passed had finally passed on and left all her belongings, including her hut outside Novigrad, to me. The letter included a copy of her will and a key to the chest in which she had stashed her savings. Remembering how my dear auntie would serve her guests only bread and water, I was sure she'd managed to save up a hefty stash of coin during her long and miserly life. So I raced off in a flash to my aunt's hut to pay my respects at her grave and while there, take a gander at what's in the, that chest. But when I got there, the hut was in ruins and the neighboring peasants were claiming a griffin had nested on my aunt's lands. So there I was, a fortune in arm's reach and not a way to get at it. So I went back to Oxenford and raced to the alchemy fast as my feet would take me for I'd heard the famous Kulik Kulikov and his crew were watering their horses there after their latest adventure. We agreed terms quick enough, he'd get a portion of what we found in that chest, and set off to exterminate this plowing pest of a griffin. Now I'm sitting and watching Kulikov's lads arm the ballista, writing this all down to calm my nerves and pass the time. Fun's about the start. Well, I named that weapon correctly, it is a ballista. New quest, a surprise inheritance. Let's check it out. Ooh, level 38. Holy cow, man. We're not even level 38 yet. While searching a body he found in a ravaged campsite, Geralt found a key in a journal. Thinking the latter might shed light on its writer's fate, he slipped it into his bag. The notes contained information about a fortune hidden in a hut a griffin had roosted in. The coin had belonged to the deceased aunt, but since neither she nor her nephew had any use for it now, Geralt decided to kill the beast and take it for himself. Well, we're assuming that there's really a beast there. I'm not convinced that there is a beast there. I got the impression that those villagers, the neighbors, had just made up a story. Like, they stole the chest, and they're like, Um, 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 a griffin took it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we got this treasure hunt waiting for us. Treasure hunt. But we're gonna go back to Without a Trace. I'm not ready for a level 38 quest yet. Well, down the hill here, we've got some more griff or, uh, ghouls to deal with, so let's go ahead and take care of these losers right now. Okay, he's done with. Oh! Look at him all puffed up. Okay, shut him up. Take a mutagen from him. Let's loot this stuff here. Mug. Dwarven Spirit. Steel Ingots. I used quite a few Steel Ingots when I was crafting my uh, feline armor. Quinn, what are you looking at? Haha, <laughs> Ole! Nice! Oh, the zombies have returned. It's always the three zo same three zombies. You ever notice that? That guy that's wearing those goofy shorts up there in front? It's always the same guys. It's not a good look, dude. Those shorts and those boots, you look ridiculous. Geralt. Feeling good. Alright. Let's go loot these uh, bodies. What are you doing, boy? Boy, that's... Oh my gosh, a bunch of bodies. Show me your sword. Oh, 
All right, well, another day, another handful of coinage. Earl Geralt here. Got a hunter here. Yeah. yeah. And here is... We've heard that song. Let's go talk to this merchant. Buying or just perusing? Buying or just perusing? What are you offering? Show me what you've got on offer. Well, I don't really care what you're selling. I'm only interested in selling you some crap like this rusty villain sword. <laughs> Look at this sucker. Give me some coinage for a rusty sword. What a moron. Alright, so I think this is all mastercrafted stuff that I don't want to get rid of. Except for this Lyrian hardened leather trousers. We don't need those. Let's sell those. And as far as other stuff to get rid of, um, I don't know. What's this column here for roach anyway? I don't know what that's for. And there's some other stuff here. And some crafting stuff, but I'm not going to sell this because I might need it for crafting. Yes, sir, I might. And besides, none of it weighs anything. Still makes me wonder what the heck I'm carrying that weighs 109. I mean, these weapons, this is this one weighs 3.96, this one weighs 2.81, this one weighs 2.81. I guess it's this armor I'm carrying right. You know what I should have done is I should have stashed, stashed this armor in the stash. That was dumb of me. Next time I go back to the stash, I'll, I'll put all this stuff away. That'll free up a lot of space for us. But... Uh, well, actually, does he have any wax, perchance? Because I needed wax. No, he has silver. And wax. I'm going to buy this. Okay. Farewell. So long. Fare thee well, merchant. Okay. Okay, so we cleared this place out, and um, now we could go ahead and travel north up here. Heh, <laughs> Roach is still over here. Uh, we could travel north up here to look for Fulkert's tracks in the dead white wood. That's what we're going to do now. It's not too far away. Nice evening jog for Geralt. Geralt just runs right through bushes and stuff. He don't care. He doesn't care. Doesn't care if there's spider webs in there or if there's briars or thorns on those bushes. He doesn't care. He's like a honey badger. So, look at this place. Got a lumber camp here. Your ass arse hair gray too? I think that's what he said. So we're supposed to look for Fulkert's tracks somewhere around here. That's what we're doing now in this big giant circle. So we're going to go up here. Just kind of look around for some tracks. See if we see any bright red showing up anywhere. You guys see anything? I'm not seeing anything yet. Keep looking around here. Oh, nope. This is a big circle. Ah, here we go. This looks promising. Loot. Loot. Examine. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Follow the blood track. Anybody see a blood track? I'm not sure I'm seeing a blood track. Oh, well, here we go over here. Nothing else I could loot from that cart? Looks like there's all kinds of goodies on it. Blood. Dried. A few days old. Okay. Follow the blood track. Uh, this way. Wow, this is a hard track to follow. Alright, here we go. Go through here. New marker, Erd. Let's check it out on the map. Erd. This woodland settlement is almost entirely depopulated, and its proximity to dead white wood scares off any potential new settlers. So I, got, I was wrong before in the last episode. We went somewhere up here, to this place. I thought this was dead white wood up here. 
but apparently not. This is it down here. Let's keep keep searching. Keep following the blood track here. There's the marker. So he kind of went this way. It's looking like. Trail's gone cold. Need to look around. Ask. Maybe someone's seen him. Maybe someone's seen him. Ask the inhabitants of the village about Folkert. Hello, good inhabitants of the village. I'm looking for someone. Knock, knock, knock. Can't get in there. Anyone? Anyone home? Oh, look at this. Something special about this door. Maybe we're supposed to art it down or something. Well, let's go ahead and help ourselves with the stuff that people are just leaving laying about. It's not my fault they'd leave stuff laying around. Leave stuff laying around. Gerald, he can't help himself, man. He's got a problem. He'll be the first one to admit it. A broken rake. Yeah, I got a problem, all right. Why'd I pick that up? Judd, sharp now. We've company. <laughs> What's brought you to these parts, master? Lost your way? No, looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. Perhaps. What is this place? What is this place, exactly? A village? Plain to see? Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work, and the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Hmm. Well, have you seen Folkert? Looking for someone named Folkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves that attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. <laughs> Didn't go looking. But he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. Something fishy's going on here, I feel like. So long. So long. Now we're supposed to report back to the herbalist. Really? Just like that? Simple as that. Gerald's just given up. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm going to go look inside of your hut. Oh, it's locked. All right. What about this hut over here with a door that we could bust down? Oh, man, this goodie's in there. I want to get in there. All right now, Geralt. Those goodies don't belong to you. Those aren't your goodies. But I am going to go over here and ard this door. Let's get our ard up. What's going on here? Goodies to loot. Lesser glyph of Quinn. Uh, Dwarven spirit and some water. Anything else? That's it? Well. An abandoned hut. There's a lot of them around here. Well, we didn't get a lot. So now we're supposed to report back to this guy. That's kind of crazy, this whole big place here. There's got to be more to this story, right? I'm really surprised that Geralt's just supposed to, like, just go back. He's like, well, they didn't see nothing. Got nothing to loot in here. Something's going on, man. I know you feel it, too. Ashes. Why am I... <sighs> ashes. Why am I picking up ashes? Ugh. What am I going to do with ashes? Some goodies, man. Yep. 
Yep, that's all there is here in this uh, little village. Pretty crazy. This place is a mess. Another hut over here. Let's go check it out. Any goodies? Well, just a locked door. Alright. There's the old folks up there. And uh, there's a be a well here. Over here's another building. And we can art this door. <laughs> Broken rake. Let's go ahead and art it. What's going on here? Blood stains, months old. Blood stains, months old. Huh. Um that's it? That's all you have to say, Geralt? What about this handprint on the wall here? Kind of disappointed, Geralt. Normally you're uh, a little more inquisitive than this. I just find it odd that you're just supposed to go back to the herbalists and be like, well, couldn't find him. Anything else in here? Oh man, there's tons of stuff in here. I'm taking it, man. This is how I make my living. Alright. What was it trying to tell me here? I don't know. Okay, well, um... I guess we'll go back to the herbalist. That's what it's telling me to do. A couple more buildings here to look at, maybe. Oh, more goodies in here. It's weird that these old folks didn't loot all this stuff already. Why not? Why didn't they loot it? What the heck is going on? A bunch of stuff over here. Look at all this stuff. Oh, rotting flesh. Yeah, that's what I want to pick up. Ashes, water. Alright. Alright, well, let's, um... Are these goodies over here? No, these are plants, aren't they? Crow's eye. Alright, let's go to this marker. We'll report back to the herbalist. That's what we're supposed to do. Is there any new text in this quest? Nope. So we will fast travel back to... Uh, the herbalist's hut. And, well, I guess... I guess Carol's just going to give me the bad news. I don't know. This seems weird to me. It's almost like Carol's like, Well, I tried. Hey there. Oh. I know what happened to Folkert. Folkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. Mm. Found some witnesses. Claim wolves attacked him. He survived at first, then went back in the woods to harvest more herbs. His luck ran out. Ah. A treasure, that lad. Dutiful. Mannered. Such a shame. Well, here's your gold. I trust it will serve you well. Uh, that was it? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I was gonna say, that was a little unsatisfying. I don't know, the whole thing just seemed fishy to me. I guess Geralt was okay with what those people said. Hey there. We could probably keep talking to him because we could uh, play cards with him. So long. <laughs> All right. Well, let me see if I could find the final text for that quest. Uh, it just seems weird to me. So that was called uh, "Without a Trace." So, just scroll down through here, looking for blue exclamation marks, and see if there's any final text for this thing. Without a trace. Geralt did not, in fact, find Folkert, but witness testimony allowed him to establish the halfling's fate. The young halfling had so badly wanted to bring his master the herbs that he had ventured deep into the woods, braving the wolves that hunted there. Though no body was ever found, 
It is not hard to guess what had become of the poor lad. Okay. Alright. Geralt's okay with it. I'm okay with it. He's the pro. He's the pro. I'm going to end my episode here. When we come back next time, we will take a look at our quest list here. I don't think I'm going to do this until I'm a higher level. Uh, so we may do this quest here. This sub-quest. The secondary quest, as they like to call it. Or we may... Um, well... I don't know. I don't know if I want to run all the way over here to take care of this undiscovered location. Yeah, we may very well go up to Bowdoin to do that next quest. So, I hope you join me then. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. I sure would appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.